Boston, come sit down. Boston, come here. This would be cute. Okay, I don't know if they can see me or not. Okay. So I don't want. You don't want me in it at all. Because like. Oh. Oh. Okay. So then you have to introduce it. My name's Olivia, and I was gonna do a video for everybody because I asked my mom if I could do a tutorial, a hair tutorial, for everybody because I was really, really wanting to, and so my mom said yes, I could. And so first, this is how I did it yesterday, and so I, and it looks really cute to me, and so I was wanting to do a tutorial for everybody and so I hope you like this video. <laughs> Can I tell them something really quick? Yeah. Olivia did her own hair, she picked out her own outfit, she did her own makeup and she told me that she had practiced what she wanted to say. So, so this is all Olivia. Mm -hmm. So let me scoot the camera in so they can see your doll really well. Can I do that? Yeah. First off, what I'm gonna look at, at the in the book is I'm gonna see what I have to do first. Okay. So first I have to take <laughs> I can't pick it up. <laughs> Please take that part. Okay. I don't want it. Okay. So first off what I take is I take some of this and I rub it all on my hands and then I just start because it keeps my hands from being clean because her hair has these little things that come out really well because I have had this for a long time and so first I'm going to get that on my hands. Did you raid my drawer and take that out of my drawer? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oopsies. Just wanted to be clear. <laughs> Please take that. You want me to take that part out? Okay. Yeah. So, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her hair out. And that's how I do it. And then I usually comb her hair so then it's really nice. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost just dropped this camera. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. word. That. I'm just trying to record one-handed. Don't worry. I'll come over here and watch you this way. Okay. Okay. And so first how I comb her hair is I just do, I put one hair and then I go all the way to the top. And it keeps it so that it's not so tingly. And I like to do that because it helps it. So now that I'm done, I usually take another comb just to see so then it's not too tingly. And so I usually keep it so then it's really smooth. And why I like to do this is because it keeps it so then it's not in like in my face. Sometimes I hug her and her hair gets in my face and I don't really like it. So now that I'm done with this comb, I have to use one more comb. That's the only thing that I have that, this is the last comb that I have to comb. Sometimes I usually get her hair and I bring it down. So turn the doll so they can see it. And there's one last piece because I want it to go over her head. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hair band. Why? Why isn't this focusing? Oh, I know. I know, I know. I fixed it! Okay, now you may record. Now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna get a little pony and I'm gonna pick the blue one because it's my favorite color and so let's get started on that piece. I'm actually gonna use a pink because it's my favorite color too. Now I'm gonna take a pink rubber band. Now I'm just gonna put it in a little pony right here so then it will stay when I do her hair. And if you would like
like to do this, I will put it linked down below. And I wish you guys a really Merry Christmas because Christmas is already here and I was wishing everybody a happy Merry Merry Christmas. Now that I'm done with the pony, I will just peel the parts together so then I can put it in where I want it. Now, I comb the pony sometimes and I'm gonna do this just one comb today. Now, you don't wanna comb it too, too fast or else it will get messed up and you will have to do it re-over and that's not really fun to redo it. And so, I would like to not do it so fast, that's why I don't. Now, what I usually do is I take this kind of clip, you just have to bend it and then it comes out. Now I'm gonna leave it over. This is way too big for her. There's none other way how to get it away, to get it smaller. So I usually take it around the head. And then the leftover piece I just keep. And you can see there's a little piece right there. And so I just leave it. It doesn't matter if it's too small, too big. I like mine to be just perfect. But if it's big, it doesn't matter that much. So I'm gonna take this clip. If you guys have these clips, that will be great. Then you can have a doll and do this hairdo. So now I take her over to the side because it's hard to do it on the side. Because I tried that and it's really hard. So you might want to turn your doll around so that you can see. <laughs> You're so cute. Now I'm gonna take my clip and I am gonna make it so that it, I can put it in, and I just do this, and then I put it in with the leftover hair. Now I just clip it, and then it looks really cute. It looks like a crown's on her, but I don't usually do that. This is what it would look like right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out, the pony. Because now, why I put it in a pony so then it wouldn't get in my way. It's hard to do it when you just let go of the little pieces when you're supposed to get the hair done and you can't really do it right now. But it's fine. You can just put it in a little pink rubber if you want. And then you can do it however you would like. Mom, do you want to go get the boys? Do you want me to go get the boys? Yes. Quiet. Now what I'm... <laughs> and now what I am going to do is I have to keep on combing her hair or else it won't be as smooth as I want it. Now what I totally want to do is I really, really want to do something. I usually take a comb so that I can get all the pieces that were in and I smoothly, softly take it and I get all the hair in my hand. It just is wonderful when you do doll's hair. I love doing doll's hair. I always do it whenever I want. And I have so, so much dolls. I just wanna give one away. I just can't because I love all my dolls. It's just the only thing that I want to do, but I it's fine. Now what I am gonna do for my favorite is spray. I like to spray with the best spray. And you can spray whenever you want. And so I'm just gonna spray one little bit so then it will look nice as good. So then it makes it nice and clean like you want. Now what I love to do with her is I like to get some of my jewelry and this is one that my grandma gave me yesterday and I wanted to put it as my doll's necklace. Once I had a doll that had a necklace and it broke. Now you can tell that she looks like a queen. I didn't really dress her up like a queen, but I think she's adorable because dolls are my favorite. And so I love dolls all my heart. And so I do their hair a lot. 
that's why I did a hair tutorial today for everyone. I hope you like this blog, vlog and if you like it, put a thumbs up and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. You did so good. Now you can take a picture of her with me. Okay, here, let me get a little closer. How do you know that's what we do? Get a thumbnail? <laughs> How do you know? Okay, so look right here. Does she look like a princess, Mommy? Yes. I think she looks Do you know what? I think you look like a princess. Mommy, tomorrow can I do my other doll's hair? 